today was a wonderful day. I am happy to be here. Thank you for tuning in. Before we get started, let me just say this. I felt that it was this topic was very much needed before I move on into um, other things that I want to talk about and share about my experience. We cannot care what other people say, feel, or think. And that's to the point where it affects us, affects us from, you know, being who we are called to be, who we are meant to be, who we are. We can't worry about what people are thinking or what they're going to say. I know we're going through things in our lives and we're talking specifically about heartbreaks. So, you know, during this process, we need to heal completely. But first... We need to not worry about what people say because people are going to say whatever, you know. You know, I wouldn't be here if I'm worried about what people may say or feel or think about me because people may say, who, who is she? You know, what is she doing? Why is she talking? But, you know, let them talk. <laughs> let them walk, walk. <laughs> whatever they want to do, let them do it. Um, so, but we can't care about that. You know, we have to let that go. We got to, and keep going because people will say whatever they want to say. And if we let it get to us, that makes it worse for us in our healing process. So the goal is to heal from what has hurt us. You know, what has caused us pain, what has caused our heart pain. But if we're so consumed with what people may feel, think, or say, then we're really not going to go anywhere because people are always going to have differences of opinions. They're going to have something to say about something. They're going to judge something. So we need to really take this opportunity to be ourselves, to be authentic to ourselves. You know, it'll be a different story if we had two lives. If everybody knew that, you know, if they die once, they're coming back again. But you know, if that was the case, then, you know, be somebody else if you want to for the first time. At least you know you're going to come back and you have a chance to be yourself the second go around. But that's not the case. So, we have one life. We need to live it. We need to be us. We need to be true to ourselves. And being true to ourselves, not worrying about what people may think. People are going to get offended easily. That's one of the things that... I um, had to learn and I am still learning through this um, journey is that um, people will get offended and you know I try my best to walk in a way that I am not easily offended because when you're not easily offended that's a sign of maturity so people have their own minds that's why my name is Sophia, and your name may be Jack, and it may be Jill, or it may be Susie, it may be Sally, it may be Kim, it may be Becky, it may be Tim. Whatever the case may be, that's why our names are different, because we're all different. We're going to have our differences of opinions. We may see the eye, we may see eye to eye, and we may not. So, I want to get that out there before we continue um, throughout this journey of healing, I just want you to know, do not worry about what anybody else says. Be true to who you are. Your heart tells you who you are. Be true to your core. And everything else will be good. So, take this time to reflect. And if you have any worries on your mind about what your family may say, your friends may say, bump that. You know? We got to keep going because we only get one life and we should live it. And guess who we should be? Ourselves. You should be you. I should be me. Leave your comments. I hope to see you soon. I hope to talk to you soon. But in the meantime, holla! <laughs>